A particle is being acted upon by three core planar forces with magnitudes and directions as indicated in the figure. Calculate the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. Alright. Okay. So, uh, here we have three forces and the question asks us to find the uh, magnitude, direction of resultant force. Okay. So, we want to find the net force. Huh? We want to find the net force, which is a uh, sigma F. Okay. We need to find the magnitude and direction. So actually, this is back to the chapter one about um, about uh, resolving the vectors and also find the resultant vector. Okay. Uh, just in this case, it's about force. Yeah. The vector is a force. The unit is Newton. So just uh, go back to your uh, first chapter. Okay, and uh, recall back how do you resolve the vector and how do you find the resultant vector. Okay, so first of all, uh, we need to resolve the vector. Uh, but, uh, we need to prepare a table first. Okay, I have prepared a table for you here uh, where we need to write all the vectors into uh, this table. Uh, it is, this is more systematic way of finding resultant vector. Okay, so... Um, Okay, this is the x component, this is the y component. Uh, we have uh, three forces here, F1, F2, F3. So you just uh, list down F1, F2, F3. And this is the total force. Okay, uh, this part is total Fx. And this part is uh, total Fy. Uh, so we need to find total Fx and total Fy. Before that, we need to resolve the vector. Okay, so for example, like... Uh, okay, let's look at F1. Okay, no need to resolve. Ah, remember, you need to uh, denote the direction in positive negative sign. Going to the right, going to the right is uh, positive. Going to the left, negative. Going upward, positive. Going downward, negative. Okay. Ah, so, let us first look at F1. Yeah, F1. So, F1 is only X component uh, going to the left, isn't it? X component going to the left, so you must have a negative. Uh, so it is F negative. Um, um, only X component. So this 2 Newton is totally in X component. Okay, to the left. So it's a negative 2. Uh, we put S, negative 2. Alright. Uh, okay, so uh, just transfer to the middle. Okay. Now, it, don't, it doesn't have any Y component, isn't it? No Y component, so the Y component we put 0. Uh, the Y component we put 0. And then, uh, for the F2, F2 it has the two components, okay? Okay, look at F2. Uh, it has two components. It has the X component and also the Y component. Let's draw out the X component uh, and also the Y component. So, both of them are negative, you see? Going to the left and going downward. So, negative, negative. Okay, so we put uh, X component negative, Y component also negative. Because it is to the left, negative, downward, negative. Okay, so uh, look at the X component. X component, okay, you see the angle is, uh, angle is over here. So, uh, this uh, X component is actually the opposite. Ah, uh, it's actually the opposite. Yeah, it's actually, uh, the X component is actually over here. You see, do you see that? Uh, so, this X component is the opposite. So, opposite get the sine theta. Uh, so, opposite use sine. Okay? Uh, opposite use sine. Uh, the, this Y component is adjacent to angle, isn't it? Adjacent use uh, cos. Uh, remember that. Okay? So, now let's do the X component. Um, okay, let's do it. Yeah? So, for the X component, uh, it is uh, negative. For sine 30. Negative 4 sine uh, 30. Okay. Uh, negative 4 sine 30. And then, uh, how about the Y components? Uh, y component is negative. Uh, neg uh, is negative uh, 4 cos 30. Uh, negative 4 cos 30. Okay, we got it. Huh? And then for uh, F3... F3, it is, uh, look at the X and 1 component. We need to resolve first, okay? Uh, it, this is the X component, and the Y component is this. Uh, this is the Y component, okay? So, both of them are uh, to the right, positive. Upward, positive, okay? 
Uh, and another thing is about the um, this 40 degree is with x component you see uh, so the x component is adjacent adjacent use cos uh, adjacent use cos unlike just now the angle is with y component so the y component become cos uh, but now but now the angle is with x component uh, so the x component become cos because x component is adjacent to angle okay Okay, now how about the y component? Y component is actually opposite to the angle. Huh? If you look at here, uh, okay, uh, x, uh, the y component is actually opposite. You see that? The y component is actually opposite, opposite, uh, opposite to the angle. So the opposite to the angle, we use sine. Uh, we use sine. Okay? Uh, opposite to the angle, use sine. Adjacent to angle use cos. Okay, so now uh, let's do it. Yeah. So for x component, it is uh, going to the right is positive. So we write positive here, and then it is a uh, six cos forty. Uh, so it's six cos forty. Yeah, six cos forty. So write down six cos. Um, okay, uh, six cos uh, forty. Okay. And then for the y component, it is uh, going up. Going up is positive. Uh, going up is positive. And then um, uh, it is a 6 sine. Okay, what is this? Okay, uh, so it is a 6, uh, six sine. Sorry, yeah? Okay, well, I don't know what happened, yeah? Okay, this is 6 sine 40. Okay, it is 6, uh, six sine 40. Uh, so we write 6 sine 40. Okay, uh, we got it. Huh? We got it. So now uh, let's total up. Find the total fx and total fy. And then uh, let's calculate first. Yeah? Okay, so the x component I got. Yeah, after I total up, total up the top part, uh, I got uh, positive um, uh, 0 0.59. Uh, 6, 3. Maintain uh, 4 decimal place. Yeah, maintain 4 decimal place for accuracy. And then, um, okay, so the y component, I also total up and I get, okay, so I get, um, it is also positive, yeah? Uh, positive, uh, positive, uh, which is uh, positive uh, 0 0.3926. Uh, 0 0.3926 okay so uh, now I got the total fx and total fy what does it mean it means that the uh, total the resultant force is going to the right is going to the right and also going upwards uh, because a uh, positive fx positive fy uh, this is what it means okay so let's combine these two uh, combine them we get this one okay going to the right which is the uh, this is um yeah uh the total fx which is uh positive okay and then uh going upward uh, because the total fy now is also positive okay so this is the resultant uh this is the resultant ah uh, so this is the total f the resultant force this is the resultant force for these three forces uh these three forces yeah F1, F2, F3. This is the resultant force. So let's calculate uh, and also find the angle theta for the direction. Okay, so uh, modulus, uh, that means we want to find magnitude of the resultant force. Okay, it is uh, actually uh, square root. Okay, the total Fx, we square it plus total Fy, we also square, root, square it. And then after that, we square root. Okay, square, square, square root. And what we get, what do we get? Okay, we got the answer, uh, 0 0.71, uh, 0 0.714 Newton. Uh, okay, that's the magnitude. Now, the direction. Okay, we need to find the direction also because question asks for direction. And force also a vector. Vector, you must give direction also, yeah? So now we use tangent theta. Uh, we use, um, we modulus it, make it positive. We use the y component divided by x component. Okay, we always use y component divided by x component. Yeah. So use the fy divided by fx. Okay, fy divided by fx. So we use this one. 
fy divided by fx. And what do we get? Uh, Alright. Okay, remember, uh, this you need to find, you need, need, need to find theta. Okay, you need to find theta, not the tangent theta. Uh, that means, to find theta, you need to anti-tangent. Don't forget to anti-tangent your answer. Uh, yeah? Anti-tangent your answer. And finally, your theta is equal to, I got 33.36 degree. Uh, 33.36 degree. This one is above the uh, positive x-axis. Uh, this resultant force is above, theta degree above positive x-axis. You must write uh, above uh, positive x-axis or positive x-directions. Uh, that's the answer. Okay? So is it correct? Look at the answer. Uh, the magnitude is 0 0.71 Newton. You must write unit. Huh? Yeah, 0 0.714 Newton. That's correct. Huh? That's correct. And then how about the uh, direction? 33 degree above positive. Uh, it is above the positive. Yeah. So above, is it correct? Yeah, 33 degree uh, above, above positive. Uh, above the positive x. That's correct. Okay, so uh, that's it. Yeah, to find the resultant force uh, using the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, uh, that's it.